Once, there was a powerful woman who created a beautiful clockwork world. Life within the clockwork world was so exotic and lovely that many people went there to live. The woman's sister was one of them and she took the woman's small daughter, Clara, with her. In time, Clara's mind flowed out and grasped the world. She knew its past and its future. As more people and other beings arrived and arose in the world, it became crowded. Seeing this, the woman created a particular gift and sent it into the clockwork world. The gift passed from one to another. It was different for everyone, but it was always the same. Some used the gift to merge with the clockwork world, to become part of all that happened. Many stayed enjoying the clockwork world forever. Finally, Clara walked the wide road and at the end of it, she received the gift. From a million archways, she chose one and walked through out of the clockwork world into an unknown future. At least, this is the story that Clara tells herself, heading home through the city. This is the story that she tells herself in her cozy apartment. And that she tells herself when she makes paintings of the clockwork world. Clara collects objects that remind her of her childhood. Even though she tells the objects, I can never go back and I would never want to. She lives in the complex city, balanced between past and future. One night, closing up her recollection shop, Clara meets a bright-eyed cat. You are Clara, says the cat the one who has a destiny. I am just like everyone else, says Clara, except that my mother is a queen on the first moon. Oh, I know, says the cat purring. I can take you there, says the cat, if you like. The cat takes Clara to a lovely ship hovering over the fields. 
and they venture out into the roads that connect the worlds. They touch the plant cities, green towers under green skies. They have secret adventures on secret worlds. They share the light of pasts and futures and travel nowhere and everywhere. One bright night on deck, the cat asks Clara, what kind of world would you make? A world of kindness, says Clara, and wonder and mystery, and you would be its queen, suggests the cat. I think, says Clara, that I would be a firefly. After a day or a hundred years, they reach the first moon. The cat runs confidently into the palace, onto the throne. and reveals herself to be Clara's mother, the queen. Welcome home, Clara, says the queen. What would you like to build first? Clara nestles her face in her mother's robes. I have some ideas, she says. <laughs>